caucuses, of course, will only have one winner. But can the candidates who don't make, manage to make it maybe into the top two or three still claim some sort of a victory? On the phone with me now is GOP strategist and former speechwriter for President George H.W. Bush, Tracy Davis. Tracy, you're with us? Yes, I am, Harris. It's so great to hear from you. Thank well, you thanks. for having me on. Absolutely. Thanks for being with us on this holiday. In your opinion, who will be the winners and then who will be the losers this week in Iowa? Wow, well, that's awfully tricky considering 41% is still undecided. Yeah, but, right. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I think it's, it, you, you know, sort of like anyone's guess. But um, I would say that, um, you know, Romney um, would be a winner no matter what. Ron Paul, although I think that, you know, it's not going to do him much good because I don't think he'll, he'll do that well on a national level. And... Um, I think obviously because it's you know the surge going towards Rick Santorum, he is actually the one who could end up doing the best just because when you're coming from down below and coming up like that, and uh, I, I just think that because the uh, uh, you know the evangelicals and mm -hmm. um, even the Tea Party seem to care more, they just really want. Um, electability this time they're concerned yeah. about the economy like everybody else and and so they might really go for the for the candidate that they think that could go the, the whole way yeah you know you talk about evangelicals in Iowa and that's really what we've been hearing about what do you think they are particularly looking for in a candidate you talk about electability but what else well I mean I think that they're very concerned you know about their social issues when it comes to um, the right to life and uh, um, when, it, when, I mean, everything that they, and, you know, gay rights, not having, I mean, non-gay rights, not having gay marriage. And they have their, you know, particularly very religious right um, views, both socially and economically. But it just seems that maybe in this election, it just seems that, um, uh, you know, for one thing, because there have been a number of, um, of candidates that, you know, there's so many and that there's a certain amount that would appeal to the evangelicals that, you know, for Romney, it would be, he'd be happy to see that they were split. Uh -huh. And it looks like by the numbers that they might, they might be to a certain degree. Obviously, Centaurum's picking up a lot of them, but, you know, everybody seemed to have their day in the sun with, with that group. Well, I, I think you put it best in the beginning as I sort of put you on the spot, and that is it is completely up in the air right now with 41% of people saying that they are undecided or could be persuaded uh, to change their minds by Tuesday. Tracy Davis, thank you very much. And on this New Year's night, 